The question about doping in athletics did not miss in the discussion. Coach Bernard Barmasai, who is part of the initiative, gave us an exclusive interview and made it clear his intentions and what he thinks of the Kenyan Athletics Management Authority, Athletics Kenya. I'm also a coach in the, in the same group, the group and the group. What is your message to those who are still at home and might have the possibility of uh, going out to run and uh, study? We all want to send around, around coach here. And uh, especially on uh, August, August. And on January, we send around 10, 15. What do the athletes need immediately they qualify for your selections? Uh, first passport, then a statement, then all, all this uh, academic, academic papers, the transcript, uh, then go to embassy. So you are saying this exercise is basically a mentorship program also for, yeah, for yeah, the young people? Student. All right. So, yeah. and uh, do you get any kind of support from their parents? The parents call a coach asking about the performance of his daughter or son, or son. It's nice. The group does not receive any funding, sponsorship, or grant to run its activities. Parents to the athletes cover the expenses as they themselves provide coordination, guidance, and mentorship. Does AK support your activities? We don't have any, any sponsor at the moment, but we are looking forward to look for one to assist us in our program. So yeah. what kind of expenses do you have when you are Running this uh, scholarship program. The expenses, expenses, the expenses are actually you see some most is uh, uh, transport for the athletes. Then ourselves, yeah, we have come in Eden and right. we have come in Strava. And it's specific to scholarship athletes. Only for scholarship athletes. Amazing. Now there are more than five groups that bring athletes to showcase their talent once every two weeks at Eldoret Keep Kano Stadium. They recruit and send out athletes to various NCAA accredited colleges twice every year. Majority of these groups run development camps at high altitude centers like Kepenguria, Iten, Kaptagat, and Nyaruru. As a professional athlete who is retired, uh, during your time, there, there were no cases of uh, doping. Uh, what is your reaction now that the cases are rampant? I retired in 2016. And during our time, we were happy because we ran naturally. You ran clean? Clean. This generation is going crazy. All over you see, you hear doping. Doping. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of athletes being uh, caught doping. So what is your reaction to the cases that uh, are being reported? Uh, it's a, a drugs. That's correct? Yeah, it's a drugs. So these are drugs being abused? They're abused. You know, if, if you take uh, uh, this man substance, your health, your health is damaged. That's correct. It's damaged because I remember some 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 athletes from US when we were in uh, active when we were running, they were they were telling us so and so they are taking drugs, yeah. but later on they say they are now in wheelchair. They cannot. They move got their, sick. Yes. Yeah, they got sick. Because so what you save is going to treat you. The coaches, the coaches, uh, the, the, the coaches themselves should, uh, should talk to the athletes. The doping uh, agents should come out clean for themselves. You're saying they are agents? The agents. The who dope agents. athletes? Yeah. AK, the Athletics Kenya also. You know, they've been going around talking about the, the drugs. Yeah. But Raising awareness. Awareness. But let me tell you, when they come to Elmore, they don't call us. You see some people who are not running, they are there. I live in Elmore. But they don't involve they don't, you? They don't call. I ran for around 20 something years. Clean. So, and you see, you're still very I'm strong. Still, and I'm still happy. I'm still strong. And that's why now I'm mentoring now at the, 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 young, the, athletes. the young athletes to go to Do you, expect, to, do you to think academic. some of them might end up doping in the future? The athletes you're working with? No, no, no. Uh, they are clean. And they will stay clean. Amazing. And so, I'm happy. When people do things that your group never did, at least there's a feeling that you have. I'm happy. We retire clean. No, this generation, yeah. they're here now. Mm. To even those who are running, 
in uh, uh, commercial commercial races. races. I want to I want to tell them that you train clean, run clean, win clean for your future health. So let us all be clean. It's really sad to know that athletes are doping. Yeah, because if 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 every year, if I won, if an athlete win an Olympic and got in doping scandal. It's a shame to the country. It's a shame, it's a shame to the fellow athletes. It's a shame. That's it's what a, I was looking for. It's a shame to your parents. And all all the country is a shame. At largest. Yeah. Amazing. So now, run clean, train clean, run clean, win clean. Now you have an opportunity to communicate that specific message you wanted to communicate to the athletes. I want to tell uh, uh, the AK, the, the president of uh, the Athletics Kenya, that we need, we need to have a country that is clean. Let us not shame our country. Let us not shame our, 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 our flag. Majority of the athletes who went through scholarships, who went to the US to study, Patrick San, Yobe Sondieki, name them. Uh, Peter Rono, Peter Rono. Uh, then uh, Conchella, yes, no, not Conchella, but Paul Ereng. Ereng. Paul Ereng. And, uh, and so many. So uh, America is giving you education and life. And life. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So we should all go to America and study that's by my, running. That's, that's my happiness. We all go to America for, for education and for life. For life. Yeah. Now, about the county government of uh, Wasengishu and the challenge of the facilities. I spoke with several athletes from West Pokot last week and they are complaining that they have to travel all the way from uh, Pokot to come and use the truck. When they get here, they realize the truck is not as good as it would be expected of uh... Last month, I was in Kenyatta University. We were, we were officiating, we were opening the, the Kenyatta Stadium. Kenyatta University, truck. And the truck was perfect. Eldoret was in Gishu. We have nothing. We have nothing. Eaten, we have nothing. Kapsabet, we have nothing. The, what, what is going on? What seems to be the problem? I think it's our leaders. I leaders in, in running or leader, political leaders? Political leaders. Okay. We don't blame our, our athletes. We blame our leaders. We blame our leaders. Because those are the leaders that they know. In Eldoret, we, we call it home of champion. And yet we don't have a uh, field to train. Is it possible that athletes do not need these facilities? No, we need, we need. Our athletes or they are helpless? No, no, no. You know, if, like, last, last 20, 2017, they promised, they promised that in, in one year they will complete all the studies. But now this is nothing but to talk. Asante. Thank you. <laughs>
will be looking into other sports related programs to intentionally compare how it translates into an economic initiative against donor funding. Other programs that operate internationally charge to find college for Kenyan athletes and US coaches pay to recruit into their schools. Stay tuned as we investigate how the sector has been infiltrated by a cartel of people who dupe American recruiters by sending out non-athletes over the names of the real ones. This includes forged documents and Athletic Kenya letters of recommendation. Pero, ¿ves a mí? Ya no, bueno, ayúdame.